Why did we have to encounter him, of all people? My happy mind freezes in an instant. Goosebumps form all over my body, and my throat won't move, as if it's forgotten how to breathe. It must be the same for Saber behind me. Her hand holds me tightly. Just as I feel an unavoidable death, Saber too feels an inconceivable desperation. His voice sounds like it's sneering. Haughty and merciless. I can feel no human emotion in his arrogance. Nothing that had ever considered the opinions of others. My voice is shaking. The golden servant. The unknown heroic spirit who swept away the bone creatures and even cast her herself without any difficulty. That monster is in front of us. He's so close to us. At a distance, the place we could start fighting if we wanted to face a death greater than Berserker. What happened, Saber? He had such a punchable face. いつまでも黙っているのはブレであろう。それとも俺のものになる前に少しばかり遊ぶつもりか？岸尾よ。I just stared at his laughter happily. His eyes aren't looking at me. He's only watching Saber. With his rude red eyes, he's looking at her as if evaluating a work of art. Paper's presence changes. She must have prepared herself. Unlike me, unable to even move a finger. He's already glaring at the enemy servant. Shiro, nanto shite mo shoueki dake wa fusegimasu. Sono suki ni anata dake wa ridatsu shite kudasai. I'm legit wondering how he could screw up the current Holy Grail like this. The whole war. I mean, we still have to face Lancer in order to win. But this enemy is such a threat. It's almost like Lancer isn't even a danger anymore in comparison. Rebecca asked me to forgive her. Even Saber can only manage to block his first attack. The chance of success is from retreating from a guy like this is low. Saber is asking for my forgiveness for that low chance. Probably. He knows he has no way to defeat that servant. She can do that. This is different from when we fought Berserker. For some reason. I know that making Saber fight the servant would be bad. No. I may know the reason. I felt it when I saw his noble phantasms last night. Saber will not be able to beat this man no matter what. It's not about skills as a swordsman. Before that, the prerequisites are wrong. As long as they are heroic spirits. No heroic spirit. Will be able to beat him. Shira, I go for Saber and face Archer. Oh, so ka. Master ga ita no datta na. Amari no misuborashi sa yue. Inu ka nani ka da to omotta zo. He says happily. Man raises his hand and slowly brings his fingers together. I feel sick. I'll be killed if I don't retreat now. There's no reason or logic behind it. I just feel instinctively that I'll be killed if I stay in front of him and. Ike, save her! This is the 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 I push Saber away and run as if shaking off the premonition of death attacking me. There's only one thing to do. I run up to him. I check Saber's sword. 
I'm gonna focus Urker and... My body flies. What happened? The instant that the man clicked his fingers, something appeared right beside me. How can a servant like that be so, so powerful? I can tell it was a big hammer. And then I was smashed away flying across the ground like trash. It would almost feel like the more opponents that Archer defeats, it almost feels like he absorbs their power and becomes stronger after every fight. I can't move. I feel like all the bones in my body are broken. I can't feel my limbs. My brain is numb. And I can't even tell if I'm alive or not. The man laughs. I move my hands to try to get up, but my body won't move at all. My blood isn't flowing. It feels like the energy to move my body has stopped beating my limbs. だが思い上がるな、よざしゅう。貴様なぞいなくとも、サーバントを存命させる方法はある。単に今の状態が最も手がかからぬだけだ。それ以上さえずるのなら、殺すぞ。It kills my mind. It will kill me. If I move anymore, it will do so without hesitation. If I'm getting a choice here, then I'm so dead. How could anyone move after being told that? Shiro! Zebra tries to run to me. Doko ni iku? Jama mono wa inaku natta no da. Omae ga mukau beki wa sono yona kuzu de wa nakaro? But the man won't allow that. He stands before me and waits for Saber to come to him. <laughs> Saber stops and glares at the man. There's about 10 meters between them. It's a distance Saber would be able to close instantly, but... Hmm. Hmm. お前ほどの英霊ならば、俺に選ばれることがどれほどの価値かわかろうに。よまいごと、英霊になろうと私は王だ。貴様の軍門などくだらぬ。そうか。いかに王であろうと、お前は女だ。主の前に神戸を垂
そう憤るな俺は奪うだけではない等しく喜びも与えよう俺のものになるというのならば文字通りこの世の全てを与えてやる誇るがいいお前にはそれだけの価値があると認めたのだ The man moves. He opens his arms as if to accept Saber. So, Shugosha ni nado naru koto mo naku. Shini yuku unme ni modoru koto mo nai. Mo ichido dake yuzo, Saber. Kono mama ore no mono ni nare. Kono sekai de. Tomo ni nido me no se o oka s h i o dewa nai ka. Koto aru. そのようなことに興味はないし何より貴様と共に生きるなどまかり間違ってもありえません He does not nod or retreat Saber looks at Archer head on <laughs> He stops I don't know what's so funny The man starts laughing. いいぞそれでこそ俺の見込んだ女よはあこの世に一つ程度は俺に従わぬ者がいなければなよしでは力づくだ聖杯を手に入れた後その身に中身をぶちまけてやろう喜べよセイバーそうなればマスターなど不要となる万能の器である聖杯その力すべてを飲み干すのだからなサーバントなどと人間の使い魔に甘んじることもなくなるだろう Man says so with satisfaction That's it replies アーチャー貴様の目的は何だ Must have realized that fighting is the only way. They were asked for enemy's reasons at the end. But the man's answer is an unexpected one. Mokteka? So, Nandataka. I nick Konoyo no Zai was subet a tenny reta midena. No zomu mono da do toni nai. Say hi, oh. Motomete wa inai to you no ka. I guess for him, Saber is his holy grail. Say hi? Ah, Furo Fushka. So no more heavy ni crete at the Furo Fushio. Heavy ni used the Saber's presence freezes. What was that conversation? Saber shakes her head and tries to deny the word. だがこの世界は面白いぞ根本は変わらぬが装飾もここまで来れば別物だこれならば再びこの世で君臨するのも悪くないそうだな俺の目的といえばそんなところかそれを効率よく進めるというのであらば聖杯の力も悪くはないな支配欲か見下げ果てたなアーチャーそんなことのために聖杯を欲するとは欲するのではない世の財は全て我のもの自分のものを他人に使われるのが我慢ならんだけよお前とてその聖剣を人に使われては腹立たしいだろう。騎士王よ。Step is body grows misty. After a brief flash, Step is wearing her silver armor. ほう。The man does not even move. In the next instant, Step dashes forward. He runs up to the man instantly and slashes her invisible sword at deadly speed. 
Repelled. Saber jumps backward. If Saber's armor is materialized from her magical energy, this armor must be the same as well. In the short battle, the enemy has armed himself. <laughs> Saber looks calmly at Archer, holding her sword ready. Even with a stare, the man does not stop smiling. Yoizo, hamukau koto yurus saber. The enemy happily announces the beginning of the battle. The white light runs through the darkness. Saber, running up to the golden knight without hesitation, flashes her sword down, surrounding by lightning. One blow, two, three, four. Each time Saber's sword finds the enemy, blinding light is released. Woman Ancient is like a strobe. It's just like when I first saw Saber when she fought Lancer. Saber drives magical energy into her sword and strikes with it like lightning. The sword and armor clash. The man hasn't even drawn his weapon yet, with Saber's sword in front of him. He's just protecting his head with his hands. That man does not have the skill to block Saber's sword. Saber is much better than this man at sword techniques. And on top of that, Saber's sword is invisible. Even if the man had a weapon, I don't think he would be able to block that invisible sword. The invisible sword keeps hitting the man's armor. The sword smashes against the armor, shaves it, letting off lightning sparks. All the man can do is protect his head with his hands. This isn't even a match. This is just a one-sided elimination. But, still, the golden armor retains its shape. If the armor is free of damage and even hasn't taken King Saber's attacks so many times, could it be that this noble phantasm is his golden armor? Hmm,さすがにこれ以上はまずいか。相変わらずそこなしの魔力よな。俺の鎧が騎士味を上げるんだろう。<笑> So The enemy who was merely defending raises his arm. Not the white saber. I don't know why, but the man raises his hand to the night sky and Tawamurewa Sonomi. Is that an illusion? In his hand? A short sword like a key is in his hand. <laughs> Saber attacks with all her power, but... The enemy repels it with his dark red sword. Curse <laughs> of Vengeance? Saber distances herself and glares at the sword in her enemy hands. The fact that the enemy has revealed this weapon is a threat. But at the same time, it means that the enemy's attacks are revealed. It doesn't matter if, it was, if his noble phantasm is a sword or armor. As long as you can see it, you're able to deal with it. Maybe readies herself. As the man said, his armor is at its limit. If Saber relaunches her fierce barrage of attacks, he should be able to slash him through this armor. Even if he brought out his noble phantasm, it won't make a difference to the fact that the next blow will decide the match. Archer. I mean, the way how he just rips on Caster with all those phantasms, it was just so overpowered. 
There must be something more to this weapon. Sword in her hand is still invisible. Reading the holy sword sealed in wind. Saber stares at her enemy. It seems Saber knows what the, that noble phantasm is. That's why she should intentionally distance herself. And since she knows how to deal with it, she's confronting the enemy straight on. If the noble phantasms are swords, and if the sword's abilities are equal, the signing factor will be their own sword techniques. I wonder if his noble phantasm is a sword, then why is he in the archer class? Is it only because the Saber class had been that spot had been filled by Saber already? Or is it possible that there can be two of the same class of servant? By the theory, Saber has to win. Yokaro? では来るがいいセイバー。何のライフ He was just waiting for that, as I expected. An invisible door opens behind the man. If his body stops, the weapons the enemy takes are different from the previous Dark Red Sword. The first is an invisible sword like Saber's. As soon as Saber defends against it, the man is holding yet another sword. This sword is of ice. She twists her body to avoid it, but the space the sword goes through freezes. Saber retreats covered in ice as the ice starts to break. The enemy holds a sickle like weapon. It's the same thing he used against Caster. <laughs> she instantly tries to block the weapon approaching her neck with a gauntlet, but it's useless. The sickle goes through her arm, like the gauntlet isn't there, and takes away her magical energy. As if cutting away her bone, and not her flesh or blood. <laughs> Saber totters, but manages to stay standing. He can take away magical energy like that. Can he also absorb magical energy like that? Is that why he's so powerful? It is a different kind of retreat now. Not to distance herself and prepare for the next attack. It's a desperate retreat just to get away from the enemy. <laughs> He declares at the enemy, throwing magical energy into her arm. Many handles are floating around the man. That's what slaughtered Caster. And those are the noble phantasms. The golden knight who cornered Saber. That looks insane. Let's look at this. It's a scene that makes even me want to doubt my own eyes. Those handles floating behind him. Surely those of noble phantasms. Not just 10 or 20. No. Even though I can see them, I can feel they are infinite. From all times and places. As if to say, that servant has all the divine mysteries from every legend. Archer, you are what? Saber's voice is trembling. 
servant will not answer when asked by her identity. Oh, I guess he is arrogant enough to do so. But the enemy's noble phantasm is so strange that Sabre has to ask. え、中には複数の宝具を持っているものもいますが、だとしても二つが限度だ。そのように再現なく宝具を持つ英霊など存在するはずがない。存在するはずがない。それは想定だな、セイバー。英霊は生前用いた武器を宝具とする。ならば単純な話ではないか。この宝具は全て俺が生前に集めたものということではないか。オッケー、ワオ。私を侮っているのか、アーチャー。それこそ絶対にありえない。あなたが何者であろうと、他の英霊たちのシンボルたる宝具を
being used by other people. It's like inheritance. If you go back far enough, a model must exist. Though it's only natural for every legend, myth, folklore, noble phantasm to have an original model. And in the distant past, if it was possible to collect all of their models, and one could possess all of the noble phantasms. Only one hero could correspond to that. One with origins in the legend far older. That of King Arthur or Hercules. And set the rule over ancient Mesopotamia. I have of course I have human king who collected treasures as he wished and sought immortality at the end. His name was... Gilgamesh. He, I only knew his name. But I did not know that he was... the oldest king. I only knew his name. Because... If in any RPG or other kind of game... If there would be a bonus boss called Gilgamesh, he would be the kind of boss that would be stupidly overpowered. And now I can understand why. Paper sounds shocked. The Golden Knight, Gilgamesh, accept the shock with satisfaction. Ikanimo,この身は貴様らではかなうべくもない最強の英霊だ。And then Golden Knight moves forward. There's nothing else to talk about. All that remains is for him to use his many noble phantasms to defeat the enemy. Oh, Warren Paper's wrong in Traver. The winds are so troll. And comes a raging gale to protect her. At the same time, the golden sword appears. It can't be. Saber's going to use Excalibur here? Gilgamesh stops. He too must know the Holy Sword's power. As his composure vanishes. Saber keeps staring at Gilgamesh. He looks in my direction for an instant. Is she telling me to run? Gilgamesh has his back to the river. And Saber is over here. It must have been when she attacked him earlier. Before I realize it. Saber is confronting Gilgamesh to protect me. I power strength into my limbs. Even if I try to move my numb body, all I can move is one of my arms. I can still collect all the magical energy in my body. Where's my body with that one arm? if the audio had a bit of a hiccup. I had to cut away the previous recording <laughs> because I had a coughing fit. My senses were gone. And every bone in my body starts to scream once I start moving. The pain is a warning. The pain is telling me I will break if I move any further. <coughs> I ignore it and raise my body up. I bear my pain. I don't have time to deal with it. I have to get up quickly and protect Saber. Because I have a bad feeling about this. A premonition I felt when I faced that enemy. 
You will never be able to beat him. The instant of feeling that I could... I should never let him or fight him. Don't go away. Hmm. I mean, look how smirk and self-confident he is. Thrilling wind is now a raging storm. Even with the holy sword shining in front of him, Golden Knight does not back away. Moreover, he pulls an incongruous sword from the gate behind him. Let me guess it's either also Excalibur or Caliburn. Just a spite saber. <laughs> That's the cause of my bad feeling. What kind of weapon is that? That sword does not appear in any legend. I could identify every one of the noble phantasms that were floating behind him. Even I cannot tell what that sword is. I have all the Hogs. But cylindrical sword. The sword is made of three parts. And each part is turning slowly in different directions. That's so weird. This looks like a rock drill. Pierce through a hard surface? Danga Korewa Chinga. Shoshin Shome. Kono Eu Oshkamo Chienu Kenda. Ah, his only personal. His only true personal weapon. The one that never. ever. wins. to another person. May not do nine of dinner. Maybe is it because the fact that he did not name that weapon so that there would never be a myth or a legend attached to it, therefore this weapon would never be sought by other people, therefore it would never be inherited by other people and never be used by other people. Is that the reason? Light concentrators. Oh, I messed that up. Concentrates. <laughs> There's only about 10 meters between them. Within that distance, Gilgamesh shouldn't even be able to dodge her attack. But I don't even know what that weapon does. So, Nani, and your circle to a nice old Saikyo to your barrel son of Ken. Each do as you at the Mitakumo at the Karana. This laughter echoes through the park. You must consider that provocation. Eat at all. Not about Waga Ken. Me go to Uke Kitimigai. This is not a good idea. The episode moves. My lips move. To say its true name. There's nowhere to run now. The noble phantasm released with its true name will smash all of its power onto Gilgamesh. Devanda. Okirugai. Air. The cylindrical sword, Ea, roars. That's insane. <laughs> In response to Gilgamesh's words, the three blades turn with a whirring sound. If Saber's Excalibur brings on the whirlwind by releasing the wind, Gilgamesh's Ea creates a storm by swallowing the surrounding winds. It 
Is it? There was more experience with the castle noble phantasms. It's faster than Ea's roar. It requires much better energy to the sword. Up to its limit in a matter of seconds. And executes it with greatest power. Kaiba! It's a nice station. Kuba releases the holy sword. I can even split the recording too. Just before that. Enuma. Erishu. Light of the same magnitude. Take some Skelbrush light. Huge impact. The raging wind knocks over trees. And the crashing lights become an exploding sun. Burning my eyes. My body is almost blown away by the wind. I managed to take myself onto the ground with one hand and endure the waves of light and heat. How long will the conflict last? The battle of the two rumblings have made me fear. The earth is going to split into two ways. <coughs> I ended with her figure surrounded by a white light. 